Barrel Bourbon has a single barrel program with rotating stocks of bourbon, rye, and rum. Talk to your local retailer about picking your own barrel. Learn more at BarrelBourbon.com. All right, on this Whiskey Quickie, we're taking a look at Still Austin, and this is their cask strength release. Ooh, we've had their regular we did. standard We did, release. and we, we really liked it because... We did, I remember that now. It's a, it's a Texas bourbon, and it's only aged two years, and we we're like, this is actually pretty phenomenal. And they sent us the cask strength, which is a, a limited release, so can't wait to get into this one. But again, this is a new expression coming from the same mash bill as their flagship one. However, should I say, this is, this is not using their slow water reduction process, which is what they have their, their regular one for. But this one comes in at a higher proof, of course, at 118. And the label is a little bit different. So they have this musician that's the artist on there. And on the original one, it's a white background. And on this one, it's a black background to signify a much darker whiskey. And again, aged only two years. This is only available in Texas. And has an SRP of sixty-five dollars. Only eleven hundred cases have gone out, with an additional eleven hundred cases that'll go out in September of twenty twenty-one. Texas is a nice home state to be in. You got a lot of people there, a lot of whiskey drinkers, especially Austin. Heck yeah! I know. Chase my Terry Blacks with this. Mm. You know, brisket, brisket, brisket. All right, on the nose here. I kind of want to do these side by side almost, but we don't. We don't have. We only got a minute. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I get a little slight, like, cotton candy, bubble gum, kind of double bubble, you know, that, like, powdery kind of substance on I, it. I'll get a little bit, uh, like, uh, the malt, whatever kind of, like, malted rye or malted barley goes into it. I mean, you could definitely get that out of it. Yeah, I can see that now. Mm-hmm. You're getting good at these. I'm, I'm, I learned from you, my <laughs> After <master>. 100. <laughs> All right. On the taste. Wow. In the front, you get a lot of like chocolate, like a uh, cacao, the dark chocolate with the sea salt. Yeah, just sprinkled on there. Sprinkled on. Put one on a s'mores recently. It was epic. If you haven't had one, I don't know why I said that. But s'mores pursuit coming up. Next. But no, I get a lot of chocolate, that malty kind of salty briny kind of taste going on with this. It's very good. Briny, I guess I could see that. I mean, there's almost like a because it is a two year old whiskey. You kind of get just a little bit of like a. A hay or grassy you note, know, but it's not very pronounced. It's it reminds just like, me like of an oyster brine or something. I don't know. It's like I, think I don't know why I'm getting into it. Not that it's a bad thing. It's a, I'm just yeah. It's still fantastic for yeah, two years. Exactly. Nice so, job. Let's go ahead and rate it. It's on the nose. Where you at? Uh, I'm sideways. I think. I mean, it's good, but it still could be improved. I like the other one better. I think. So a little bit of water goes a long way. Yep. And the taste. Thumbs up. I really like it. And the finish. Uh, sideways. Uh, it's still got. You know, some youth notes in there a little bit. I think when it was proofed down, it's a little bit more balanced, um, but it's still very good. Yeah. And, of course, congratulations. Great whiskey at a young age. Go support your, your local home team there in Austin. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. See you next time.